Discovering Length and Distance, Standard Units and Real-World Applications Greetings, Young Explorers! Today we embark on a journey to uncover the mysteries of length and distance. Let's learn about standard units and how we use them in our everyday adventures. Session 1 – Introduction to Length and Distance Length and Distance Length and distance refer to how long or far something is. It could be a small toy or a long road. We measure them using special units. Session 2 – Standard Units of Length and Distance Standard Units of Length and Distance We have three common units to measure length and distance, the millimeters mm, the centimeter cm, and the meter m. The millimeter mm is useful for measuring very small things such as the width of a guitar string or the clipper size for cutting hair. The centimeter cm is like a tiny unit, useful for measuring small things like pencils and erasers. The meter m is larger and is great for measuring longer things like a classroom or a field. Session 3 – Applying Length and Distance in the Real World Real-world applications Now, let's see how we use these units in the real world. Case 1 – Measuring the classroom Imagine we want to measure the length of our classroom. We'll use the meter, M, because it's a big area. How we use it in the real world? Example, our classroom is about 8 meters long. This helps us understand how much space we have to play and learn. Case 2. Measuring a pencil Now let's measure a pencil using the centimeter cm since it's small. How we use it in the real world? Example, our pencil is about 15 centimeters long. We use this measurement to compare pencils or see if it fits in our pencil case. Case 3. Drawing Paths Let's use our understanding of length to draw paths. How we use it in the real world Example, imagine drawing a path for a toy car. We can measure the distance in centimeters, cm, or meters, m, to make sure the path is just the right length for our car to travel. Case 4. Examples 1. Let's measure the length of the wheat grain. 2. The size of an ant. 3. The thickness of a paper. There are some measures we find difficult to express in bigger units of measurement like meters, m, or centimeter, cm. 
Here, millimeters, mm, help us accurately express their length. Conclusion Learning about standard units of measurement for length and distance helps us make sense of the world around us. Whether it's measuring our classroom or drawing fun paths, these units help us communicate and understand lengths and distances in a standardized way. So keep measuring and exploring, young adventurers. You're on the path to becoming measurement experts. Until next time, happy measuring.